Welcome to KDW Khan's Digital World on Fox 5 Plus Washington DC. I'm Badul Khan and we are going to continue our series on digital transformation. Irrespective of which part of the world we are from, each of us are significantly impacted by the digital revolution. Today, we would like to explore how the garment industry in Bangladesh may be impacted in the digital economy. Welcome back, Jasmine, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Dr. Khan. While the garment industry may not be the first thing that comes to our mind when we talk about the digital revolution, I hope our audience will enjoy thinking through the various linkages between the two. To start with some background, Bangladesh is the second largest ready-made garment exporter in the world with approximately 8% of the market, right behind China with approximately 34%. Bangladesh generated $34 billion in garment exports during 2019, making it a core part of their economy. Good for Bangladesh. Bangladesh has a big, bold vision statement. First, Bangladesh is looking to target 50 billion annually in ready-made garments exports by 2021. Second, Bangladesh is looking to achieve middle-income country status by 2021. Achieving this vision over the next two years can be a game changer for Bangladesh and its citizens. What do you think, Jeff Swain? Dr. Khan, uh, this is very exciting and ambitious for Bangladesh. Let's take a few minutes to explore whether the digital revolution places Bangladesh at an advantage. To date, the success of Bangladesh's garment industry has been based on cheap labor. Also, the majority of the workers in the garment industry are women, and many of them are unable to read. While the industry has been highly successful to this point, it is also facing few crucial issues that must be addressed to meet Bangladesh's vision. First, average work days for the majority of the garment workers are 12 to 14 hours for exceeding legal limits. Despite the long work days, a recent study highlighted that 60% of the workers are not able to meet their production targets. Also, most garment workers continue to struggle every day to survive above the poverty line. Dr. Khan, it worries me to think about how Bangladesh will achieve its ambitious targets over the next two years with these crucial issues on the forefront. I have thought that the digital technology can be a key lever to address these issues and meet both the $50 billion target and shift to a middle-income country status. The government industry in Bangladesh is calling for an overhauling transformation to ensure sustainable growth to the country and uplift living standards. I believe you are right. Digital technology can serve as an optimal transformational tool for Bangladesh. Low cost and high volume, which drove the success of the garment industry, can no longer be the key differentiator for future success. Investing in digital technology and upskilling the workforce can support the industry to shift the paradigm to increase focus on higher margin products. For example, digital technology investments in the factories can play a key role to improve product efficiencies, increase quality standards, and provide better insight to supply management. These attributes alone can help the industry reposition its value proposition and shift the focus away from cost. Oh, that's right, Jasmine. Parallel to modernizing factories, it is equally important for the public and private sector to come together to upskill the workforce at all levels to adapt to the digital technologies through training programs. As employers, a key differentiator will be the ability to continuously invest in the people and empower them to increase the value they bring for the organization. While the upfront investments may be high, embracing digital technology is the critical path to driving long-term holistic growth and sustainability. It can help the industry become more globally competitive and increase profitability, allowing the factory owners to share the benefits with a stronger workforce. While China and Bangladesh collectively have approximately 42% of the ready-made garment export market, there is over 50% of the market to go after. In, In pursuit of truly digital Bangladesh, let's continue to 
embrace and invest in digital technology to revolutionize the garment industry. I believe this will be a key factor in addressing challenges around productivity and quality and change the playing field of uplift the wider population. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's discussion. This brings today's show to a close. Thanks again for watching GTV's KDW Fox 5 Plus show. See you again for another exciting episode.